The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 11, verses 28 to 30. Jesus exclaimed, Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy, and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, just to tell you about an incident that happened here in the village about a few years back while I was in this place. There was an agency who offered double amount of money in three months time. So they went on advertising in few villages around here. And people invested little money in order to try out whether it is true. The rich put in the more, the poor put in little what they had, and for their surprise, they did receive double amount of money after three months. So they could even continue later if they had to put the amount for a longer period of time, they would get even triple of the amount. So they tried out putting the money again after three months and they received more than even earlier. So the package was that you keep the money with them in deposits for a longer period of time and you get more money. And the advantage was for those who had already put in money in the beginning six months, they would get more money. So most of the families didn't want to you know, miss this opportunity. And there were few others who had doubt whether this is a correct banking, whether it was right or fraud, and they came to know that it was true. They all invested maximum amount of money they could. They had their documents with them. And after two, three years, when they would get so much of money, they didn't even bother about anything, whether there was a follow-up, whether there was anything needed to be done to renew, because they knew that they would get a huge amount of money. There was a news everywhere that the bank which was there where these people had invested money was locked for nearly 15 days. They said the, the, the manager is sick, the people are sick, and then they are not able to, you know, attend to them. And after a month or two, they came to know that it was a fraud. And they all had lost their money. The poor lost whatever they had. The rich lost whatever they invested. So my dear friends, what is truth? Whom should we believe? What are the criteria 
for believing in what is right or wrong, it is very, very difficult to believe. But should we all Christians who believe in Jesus, or whoever, even non-Christians who believe in Jesus, should we not trust in him totally because we have seen his life? We have seen him. As he says in the reading of today, gospel reading from Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 to 30, my burden is light. My yoke is easy. When will it be light and easy? Is when I have trusted in the Lord. We cannot trust in the world today because there is all fraud. But why can't we trust in the Lord? in whom we are born, in whom and through whom we live our day-to-day -day life. Why do we not trust in him? Why are we weary and sad in our life? Why do we feel that we are heavily burdened when we are sick, when the Lord is with us? The poor, the sick, the needy, and everyone look at the crucified Jesus. Have a watch on his way to Calvary, the most difficult time in his life. For no reason he was carrying the cross. But it was all for our sake, for our sins, for our salvation, for our redemption. And therefore, all those people who feel that they are rejected, dejected, they are no one for them and feel depressed and anxious and worried, today is the right time to look at the crucifix. Look at the life of Jesus carrying the burden on the way to Calvary. There the Lord says, My yoke is easy, my burden is light. Should we not put all our burden on the cross, our Lord, and shoulder the cross? Because the Lord is carrying it for us, should we also not shoulder it and go ahead in life with all the sorrows that we have, with all the burdens we have, with all the tensions we have, in trust, in hope, in faith, our burden will be light. Our yoke will be easy. So, my dear friends, let us lighten the burden of our lives, all tensions and worries, by looking at the crucified Lord, asking Him to lighten our burdens. Amen.